The doors to London Brit Festival open in less than 24 hours and I committed to building a mock from season seven of the Clone Wars as part of a collaborative project. I've ordered some parts, they've now arrived, you've hit that subscribe button, so I should probably get started. So I found myself a few reference photos to work from. I saw this mock of the palace and I like the style of, of this with like the one by one bricks. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for something like this, but a lot bigger um, and have some glass ple uh, pieces behind. And then, yeah, this is the Bagel's throne. I just had that for, for like a little bit of a reference. I think I'm gonna use the glass pieces from the set rather than try and brick build something because I don't think I've got enough pieces to do something like that. I do have a couple of the sets. So I'll probably use the sticker sheet maybe once or twice and make that a lot bigger and then I just got reference pictures unfortunately the reference pictures from season 7 are pretty uh, are pretty dark and it's quite hard to see but as you can already see here like the floor on that one is already so much more detailed than the floor for when we see the palace and I think season 2 of the Clone Wars which is when Obi-Wan goes first goes to Mandalore to introduce some color I think there's an argument for some of this floor and uh, and some of the walls as well to be done in sand blue um, so I actually got quite a few uh, sand blue one by two bricks and sand blue one by one tiles. So I think I'm probably going to use that on the floor um, and get some detail of that mixed amongst light bluish gray and dark bluish gray just to add a tiny bit of color. So yeah, I think I'm going to try use sand blue and incorporate that into the build as best as I can. So first I've worked on this section um, because I need to determine how wide I want the mock to be. I'm hoping to make it 3D 16 by 16 Technic bricks that come in the art sets wide. And so I wanted to build one of these and just see how that is. I've actually done two of them because I need one at either end. I'm quite happy with them. But yeah, with, uh, with this next to it, there should be room for one and a half of these and then the doorway. So the doorway will go there and then there'll be another like half of of one of these so I'll build them next and then that should work out being wide enough um, and then what I'll probably do is looking at the, the the like scale for that and how big I think it's gonna I think it's gonna end up being like nine of these long so it's gonna be quite long but what I'll be able to do is break it up into three by three 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 by three sections so that should work out but yeah I'll get on and build the other half of one of these and see if I can get this wall this this angle might need to change on here because uh, I will be building this in with brick um, and some slope pieces and stuff and same same at the top so I might need to just take off some of these um, and change the angle on that but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see how that goes so here's the one wall where the doorway is going to be that's all done I've got the uh, the glass pieces behind there as well so that's fairly uh, fairly structurally sound pretty happy with that just working on getting this corner sorted I actually don't think I'm gonna have a enough of these so I might have to make this light bluish gray which I really didn't want to do because I wanted to break it up and I was kind of hoping that it would look good if these two bits were the same color but yeah I don't think I'm gonna have enough of these sand blue uh, one by two bricks which sucks I thought I had I got enough at the other pad wall not too long ago so I'm gonna work on the other end now and then I will start working on the wall that comes along down here okay so the walls built up now and it's got the glass pieces behind it the uh, the transclear panels I've built all of these sections now I've repeated them so I just need to do the section over there um, and then the middle bit that does have like a little doorway piece in and then it's up to tiling so making fairly decent progress this seems and I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough of these glass panels though so I think I'm gonna have to take them from the sides down here and leave these ones open and then yeah just have them have them along the back and I will just uh, I'll just close this this side off a little bit but now we're, we're getting there at this point i'm working late into the night to get this build finished so didn't get a chance to film much more other than a short clip of me doing some tiling on the train to the convention i had a disaster in transportation and each wall panel completely crumbled despite being nicely stored in a box so i had a good hour of repairs before i got the mock looking how i wanted it to before we take a look let's check out some of the other star wars mocks on display at london brick festival 4.
Okay, so we're at the first stop on the collaboration. So there was eight builds in the Star Wars Clone Wars collaboration. We were all issued either a season or uh, in Red Bricks' case, the Clone Wars film. He's done a mock on Teth. Uh, and it's got Anakin and Rex charging onto the temple. This is really, really nice. Great job by Red Bricks here. And we've got some little uh, Easter egg spots there. We've got Anakin and Ahsoka inside rescuing Rota. And then we've got Yoda and some troopers in there as well. So, yeah, great start to the collab from Red Bricks. On to Ben Bricks' mock now, and this is the Rishi Moon outpost from season one. This is a really sweet mock. Ben's, Ben's pulled it out of the bag for this convention. He's got like three really decent sized mocks. All very, very good. Little Baby Yoda. We've, uh, we've hidden Baby Yoda in, uh, in each of the mocks. So yeah, you guys can uh, see if you can spot those. But yeah, this is, this is really nice. I can't remember all the names of the clones that uh, that were in this one. I know Echo is somewhere, Fives is somewhere, but yeah, so really nice. We've got some more like little Easter egg spots here down there as well. But yeah, really nice from uh, from Ben Bricks. Not that Sam Smith had season two of Clone Wars, and he had to go with the Zillow Beast. He has smashed this creature. Just look at this thing. Look at this thing. I've told him to be quiet for this video because he's always ruining my videos. But uh, but yeah, this thing is massive. And these custom stun tags are sweet. I mean, one's a bit unfinished, a bit lazy on his part there. But uh, but other than that, really nice Anakin figure. I think a really nice friend of him, uh, of his, lent him that. But yeah, this, this stun tank is really, really sweet. So yeah, really, really great job. Great job there, Sam. Even if it does pay me to say. <laughs> Season three now and Sean, AKA Brick Sheeper on Instagram has done uh, a now Hutter mock of the, um, of the Hut Council. Sean, if you're not aware, does amazing uh, like animal or creature builds. So definitely go check his Instagram out. And he's, he's picked the perfect mock here to display, to display all his, uh, his Hut creatures. And uh, this 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 rancor uh, this rancor head mount bust thing uh, is a really really nice touch. I like that a lot. So yeah, really really sweet mock there to display all uh, those hut builds. Season four and CT builds took on Umbara. It had to be done. If you get season four, like it'd be rude if you didn't do Umbara, right? We've got the uh, five of first troopers now. We've got a Pong Crow minifigure. Yeah, it just had to be done. So you've got a bit of the terrain here and then uh, a small part of the base as well. You've got Rex. Um, we've got some custom decal clones, I think, there as well. So, yeah, great job from CT Builds. I like this little monster as well. Nice touch. Season 5 of the Clone Wars now and it's the second best Mandalore mock in the collaboration. <laughs> but now this is sweet. Taking down the uh, the exterior, the uh, the shapes of this is really really cool. Really captures the uh, the like architecture of, of Mandalore really well, and just got so many cool other Mandalorian warriors and super commandos going at it. Bo Katan there as well. Really really sweet. Got a little room in there with uh, one of those Death Watch troopers as well, and uh, this one's actually actually got a bit of a play feature. So if you uh, if you turn this little knob here we've got one of the warriors jetpack exploding so that was a really really nice touch there from uh, studio 64 and a really 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 sweet mandalore mock on to gecko's part of the collaboration now he got season six and he took on the sith temple on moribad i think season six is probably the hardest to get a decent mock for uh, or at least inspiration for um would have been for me anyway but uh but nick smashed this one We've got Yoda here, um, and we've even got Yoda with a the lightsaber there. Everyone's been asking about that lightsaber. A lot, a lot of love for the uh, for the Yoda light lightsaber there. Uh, so yeah, so we've got these st big statues up here, look really, really sweet. And then we've got some rooms in there. All those ghouls, <laughs> a red brick minifigure in the way. Don't know what that's about, but uh, and then we've also got Palpatine just in there with a mini kit. 
and uh, doing his spells and stuff. So yeah, we have a really sweet Moraban mock from uh, from Gecko. Season seven, last but by no means least. This is my mock for the collaboration. I took on the Mandalore throne room from season seven, obviously, just before Ahsoka and Maul's big fight. This is actually gonna be another three uh, Technic plates bigger, um, and it still wouldn't have quite been minifigure scale. And I'm definitely gonna go back and make sure I complete it in minifig scale. So yeah. We've got uh, Captain Rex in the door there. The only figure that I don't have is Jesse. I would really like Jesse to, to make this mock. But uh, yeah, we've got Ahsoka there. We've got Bo-Katan. And we've got Darth Maul as well. So yeah, just uh, made altercations to the set. Um, took inspiration from that. Took inspiration from uh, Baggles and a couple of other designs I saw online. Uh, and I just tried to get these windows as, as close to close to what you see as possible. But like I said, this should be, this should be wider even, um, and this should definitely be, lo be longer as well. This should be like a, an archway out to a balcony there. So, yeah, definitely got some expanding to do. This is my contribution to the collaboration.